On Monday, we showed you the late great Philip Campbell's introduction to a road test he embarked on in the summer of 1994. It was an experiment that saw Philip trade in his gas-powered truck for a homemade electric truck built by a man in Cedar. Tonight, the results. It was a unique commuting experiment. For a week in June and three weeks in July, I drove this electric 1981 Datsun pickup truck to work every day even a mini vacation to Salt Spring Island. It has a top speed of over 100 kilometers an hour on level road. However, with more than 1,000 pounds of batteries on board and only 64 horsepower, the hills are a bit challenging. Once we make it over the crown of the hill, we're fine, and then we kind of get a jump on this next big one. But almost without fail, the little truck that could got me to work and back. This photo was shot by a Central Saanich trucker who helped me get the little red wagon off the Pad Bay Highway when the power cut out one afternoon. It took only a few minutes to fix the problem, which turned out to be a rare glitch with the DC converter. Beyond that, the vehicle performed very well. To compare the cost of the electric's monthly operation with a similar sized gasoline-powered pickup, we used a BC hydrometer. My commute is 30 kilometers round trip go that distance in a gas truck, combining city and highway driving, expect to use $1.27 of fuel a day, or $25.40 a month. With the electric, it costs only 78 cents to recharge the batteries every day. That's $15.60 a month, a savings of $9.80 over a similar sized gas vehicle every month. In the winter, the savings can drop by as much as 20%, though, because you use the heater and headlights, and very cold weather tends to drain the batteries. When it comes to long-term maintenance, there's no internal nice combustion engine, therefore no tune-ups or oil changes, no exhaust system repairs or radiator leaks. In four weeks, I never ran the batteries flat. That's about to change as I head up island to return the truck. It has a range of about 50 to 100 kilometers, depending on hills. I had to go from the Saanich Peninsula to Cedar, 111 kilometers, including the battery-draining Malahat. Randy Holmquist, who did the conversion on this vehicle, is glad to have it back. You missed your truck? Oh, I almost ran out of gas twice. You know, you get used to not having to, to worry about pulling into a gas station. Right. What a foreign place to be. So how, what do you think? I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think that I would want a pickup truck. Right. But I would, I'm really impressed with the technology. Bottom line, I didn't mind the lack of horsepower. I love saving money on fuel. And one day I'd like to have one for a second car. So there you have it. The ball is, as they say, in your court now. You wait for the big three automakers to come out with their EVs. Do you buy one from a smaller company? Or do you have your existing vehicle converted? Or do it yourself? Or do nothing. It's up to you. I'm Philip Campbell, Check 6 News, on the road again. Quietly. Island Rewind, brought to you by Drain Pro Plumbing. 24-hour emergency plumbing, nights, weekends, whenever.